Here we are on the second Mega Man Monday, where today we will be continuing Mega Man 2 and taking on Woodman. Insert erection joke here. Ooh. This was a boss as a kid I was, like, obsessed with because... I just thought this boss was impossible. Like, for the longest time, little second grade me could not beat this boss. Which is ludicrous because... Honestly, one of the easier bosses in this game. Even if I didn't have the Metal Blade to beat this boss, it would be an easy boss. But I remember as a kid thinking, well, in terms of robots, if this guy's made out of wood, that should mean he's, uh, you know, the boss you should start with, because, you know, wood seems like it would be easier to kill than metal. <laughs> yeah. I actually like the faithfulness with the sprite flickering, and I'm not sure how much of that's coming across in the video. But, um, when you play this, the... there's a lot of sprites bright flicker when there's too much stuff on the screen, which is accurate to how it would have been on the actual NES at the time. And I appreciate that attention to detail, and I've heard some people who never played this on the NES going, well, why didn't they fix that for this release? And, uh, I don't think they should have even tried to fix it. I think it's perfect the way it is. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's my opinion on it. So now we get to the animal robots, which I remember as a kid being bothered by a lot of these, because, like, what are the point of these little bird robots, for example? Or... Or the, the gorillas that jump up here, I mean... They're supposed to be mechanical in some fashion, and I assume that these robots were supposed to serve a function, but what's the point of a gorilla robot? Are all the real gorillas dead, so they're just in a zoo or something? Same, same with this bunny that launches carrots. What, what is he supposed to do, exactly? I know I'm overthinking this, but it's just kind of pervasive throughout all of the original Mega Man games. You see a lot of robots where you go, Well, what, what was the designer's intent here? <laughs> uh, now I get to a part that frustrated me as a kid, these uh, Roadrunner robots. Which, actually, if you just stand still, they jump over you. You're completely safe from them. But, you know, Kid John did not know that. Alright, putting on the Metal Blade. Because I have no interest in, the, in any boss fight lasting longer than it needs to. <laughs> yeah, he does his whole, whole pound in the chest thing. With leaves. I'm not exactly sure how leaves hurt you. I mean, I assume they just look like leaves. They're not actually real leaves, but... Yeah, he goes down easy. Buzz saws destroy wood. And then again, we get this little scene. Do we get an item along with our... our wood... our wood shield? Or leaf shield, rather? No, we don't. Alright. Well, we'll see you next week.